Synonymous with pickled fish, Easter eggs and hot cross buns, among others. But what is the symbolism of these delicacies? Reginald Vertboy investigated. It's an old Cape Malay recipe, an Easter weekend favourite when it's frowned upon to indulge in meat. The dish requires lengthy preparation and is packed with flavour. You can take the summer onions and vinegars. Naturally, what you can add with the pickle piece, you're going to make the African people. Just, you can use something, the vinegar, onion, lot of onion, vinegars, and some spices and dry spices. You can add something to garlic, ginger, whatever you need it. So you can try to make like a Indian spice. You can add some Indian spices. So, should we can come like a flavor, different flavors. Also not to miss out on the ever popular raisin studded hot cross bun. For me personally, Easter is a, a, a time where we, we celebrate uh, the sacrifices Jesus made for us and he paid it all for us. So that is why we celebrate Easter, eating fish and hot cross buns. Easter eggs are normally eaten on the third day after Good Friday to mark the resurrection of Christ and a new life. The egg hunt, a treat for the little ones but some adults can't resist to join in the fun. Oh, it's very nice and everyone is happy here. They're celebrating, so everyone is enjoying their time. And you found the white one? Oh, we found the white one, yes. We were looking for him, especially, so we found him. What were you looking for, though? For Easter eggs. Did you find it? Wow, let me see. It's a lot. Are you going to share it with anyone? And the table is loaded with Easter delicacies. The real meaning behind it all is why Christ died on the cross and his resurrection. But it's clear that the delicacies on the table also have their own symbolism. Mm -hmm. And that's how an Easter treat should be. Reginald Witboy, SBC News, Kimberley. Meanwhile, traffic authorities.